Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Swanson. On this date, February 23rd, 71 years ago, the very first polio vaccine was administered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was the beginning of vaccination trials that would include over 600,000 subjects. The result? In 1955, it was announced that the vaccine for polio was available and distribution would begin. Polio was a devastating disease that claimed lives and crippled many of my contemporaries. On this date, in 1954, I was in the first grade at Washington School in Metuchen, New Jersey. It would not be long until I received the vaccine that allowed me to avoid the scourge of all children at that time, polio. But these were not the only vaccines scientists created to save us from crippling and fatal diseases. The list of diseases now rare due to vaccines is extensive. Smallpox, chickenpox, COVID-19, hepatitis, measles, mumps, shingles, and many more. Many believe the creation of vaccines began in the 20th century, reaching its peak with the eradication of smallpox and near elimination of other deadly and debilitating diseases. The figures on the benefits of measles vaccine alone are astounding. The fact is, vaccine development has been with us for centuries. Of course, the modern use of injections was not even conceived of back in the 18th century when Dr. Edward Jenner in 1796 experimented with a vaccine against smallpox. We owe a lot to Dr. Jenner and the eight-year-old son of his gardener who he used for his trials in his theory. The very term vaccination comes from Jenner's 1801 book on the origin of the vaccine inoculation. In his book, 224 years ago, Jenner wrote the annihilation of the smallpox, the most dreadful scourge of the human species must be the final result of this practice. It took until 1975, nearly 200 years after Jenner's wish for annihilation of smallpox from the human species for the last case of smallpox to be reported on the planet. Since the elimination of smallpox, we have seen the list of terrible diseases that are nearly eradicated grow every year. The story of the measles vaccine development during the 1950s is an additional testament to the vision of scientists who created it. Measles is one of the most contagious diseases ever encountered by humans. It has also been one of the deadliest, killing millions even into the 20th century. Following the development in Boston of the first measles vaccine and improvements on that vaccine, it was announced by the World Health Organization that measles was the next target to go the route of smallpox. Unfortunately, this effort was set back by a debunked report published 36 years ago that the measles vaccine was somehow responsible for some cases of autism. This report, along with anecdotal stories of vaccine dangers relayed without scientific proof, has reduced the confidence in vaccines and slowed the elimination of measles. We are seeing even today outbreaks of measles 
in unvaccinated children. There has always been pushback against vaccines from people who refuse to accept science and facts. It is a reality that as long as there are humans, there will be those who accept anecdotal evidence, have beliefs, or accept conspiracy theories that run counter to scientific facts. For example, no degree of research or evidence will likely ever convince some people that the COVID-19 vaccine worked and has prevented the deaths of millions. So what does this mean for you as a, a parent, a traveler, someone who interacts with other humans and the rest of the planet? It means, as always, educate yourself. Ask questions, find the facts, and do the right thing. For me, the right thing is to push back against those who want to deny the achievements of the doctors like Edward Jenner. I believe we should look forward, do our investigations of the evidence, and make research and inform decisions every day. I'm Alan Swanson. Thank you for watching.